Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to talk about Terraform modules. So from here on we'll be mostly dealing with Terraform modules. So anything we'll be creating we'll try to use Terraform modules and we'll try to go into I mean as deep as we can into Terraform modules because if you have ever used Terraform in production level systems you would know that it's all modules in the Terraform production code. So, I mean, it's good to write various resources, I mean, scattered resources when you're practicing, that's, that's all good. But when you have to actually use Terraform in production, you would mostly find yourself using modules, working with modules. So this is what we are going to cover in this video. So if I do, and so if you see, I'm in my Terraform projects directory and I've deleted everything from here, just, I've just kept my providers.tf file. Apart from that, we have deleted everything which we had, main.tf, uh, the variables.tf, right? Everything we have deleted. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create another directory called modules. And inside that, I'll create uh, another directory called vpc underscore module. Let's come back here. And hyphen p. So now we have... A modules directory so this is the directory which we'll use to create all our modules so in this video let me tell you what we are going to do we are going to create a vpc module so modules actually help you to modularize your code to actually they i mean they actually help you to implement the principle called dry that is do not repeat yourself so you can actually have chunks of code that you can reuse anywhere you want so it improves the reusability it makes your terraform setup very efficient so that is why we have modules right similarly something similar to a class you can say in object oriented programming so you create a class you put all the related code inside that class and then you use that class anywhere in your code right so similarly you create a modules and you can use that module anywhere you want so in this video we are going to create a vpc module that would create a VPC, a public subnet and a private subnet for us. So let's start. So let's go inside the modules directory inside that VPC module. And we are going to create a main.tf file first. And let's start with the resource. Uh, AWS underscore VPC. Let's call it my VPC. and first argument it takes is cider block right uh, sorry what am i doing yeah cider block so let's give it a cider block say so I'll not give it a cider block directly. I'll actually call that cider block from var dot my or var dot vpc underscore cider. So I haven't actually set this variable up yet, but I am going to set it up in my variables dot tf file later. So I'm just calling it over here. So cider block will be var dot my vpc underscore cider. As simple as that. All right, now let's define another resource that would be AWS underscore subnet it will be a private subnet and this way also had this actually has two properties one is the VPC underscore ID so this will be equal to AWS underscore VPC dot my VPC dot ID and then it has the CIDR block so CIDR underscore block will be equal to var dot private underscore subnet so I haven't actually declared this variable so we'll do in just a moment let's just quickly declare our resources resource AWS underscore subnet 
public subnet ppc underscore id is equal to aws underscore vpc dot my vpc dot id and side up block would be equal to var dot public underscore subnet all right so we are done with our resource definition now let's go to our variables.tf file let's first cat the main.tf file over here so we have three resources vpc underscore cider private underscore subnet and public underscore subnet cool so let's define variables dot tf file all right variable so vpc underscore cider i think this was the first one and let's set a default value so in order to show an example i need to set a default value so let's say 10.0.0 dot zero dot zero dot zero slash 16 variable we had private underscore subnet so defaulted to 10.0.1.0 dot zero dot one dot zero slash 24 and our third variable would be variable public underscore subnet and default would be equal to 10.0.2.0 slash 24 all right so we have defined our module so this is all we need for this uh, video or this example now let's come out a couple of directories up to our terraform project and now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to define a main.tf file fine and inside we are going to call our module so to call a, a module the keyword you use is module and then you can give it an identifier so i'll call it my module and source so this is how you define the source so since our module is in a current directory slash modules slash vpc underscore module probably this is what the module is right and yeah that's it so now i think if i haven't made any syntax syntax syntactical mistake so probably we are good so we'll get to know if we had made any syntax error right so now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to do terraform init first so unreadable module directory okay so i made a typo great so let's do an ls lrt first so it's modules go to main.tf get rid of this so you you will actually make such stupid mistakes so don't bother about that a terraform will actually tell you what you have done wrong let's do another plan so now it's telling me module is not installed so great so let's do terraform init all right terraform init is successful now let's do terraform plan all right so you can see it's creating three resources which are my vpc my public subnet and my private subnet and you can see it has since we have defined the default values you can see it has set those default values for the subnets right so now you would ask what's actually the use of uh, module right i mean you could do this using a same normal at main.tf file why make so much of hassle and write so much of modules and things like that 
the best part about module is the reusability of it so suppose if i go to my main.tf file right and over here i do so the variables which we defined were i think vpc underscore cider and suppose i say i want a cider of 10.0.0.0 slash 16 for my vpc although this is not a private subnet cider uh, private cider so this plan would fail i mean when apply would fail but the plan would not fail so yeah then for the private subnet private underscore subnet is equal to 12.0.1.0 slash 24 and for public subnet we have 12.0.2.0 slash 24 save this clear the screen and then terraform plan again so now if you see the cider block has been updated right so that's one way you can use the modules to basically override the values the other way the re reusability of it is let's go to vi.main.tf file again so coming down over here what I can do is I can define module my module 2 and let's copy this source over here paste it and ppc cider equal to say 11.0.0.0 slash 16 public subnet is equal to 11.0.1.0 slash 24 and public subnet is equal to 11.0.2.0 slash 24 now if I run terraform plan all right so you need to do terraform in it and now do terraform plan so you can see now it ha it shows that it is going to add six resources and zero to change zero to destroy so you can see all the resources which i I mean I wrote the code to create a VPC and subnet just once but I can create as many VPCs and as many subnets I want with one particular module with one module right so that is actually the reusability of module and that is what we are going to see in the further videos so yeah that's it for this video guys this is what I wanted to show you the modules what they are used for how how they actually implement the dry principle so please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and yeah thank you for watching